this is the rear view of the uh, Dialarc buggy. That that uh, piece of angle there is uh, four by six by three eighths, and I had to make some little standoffs to make it all come out right. I had to have the axle that axle in a certain place. So I made the little standoffs. I welded them in. <coughs> Those holes in there, I drilled and tapped. Those are for my uh, tank hanging attachment, uh, where I can hang one tank or both tanks off the back of the dial arc. And uh, there's those wheels. There's one of them. And the other one, is this exciting or what? There's the front wheels even. Yeah, they're cast iron, of course. Maybe they're steel. Who knows what they are? They're uh, junkyard models, you know? The basic junkyard deal. And uh, there it is, the back of the buggy. Yeah, all the wheels have, uh, have zerk fittings, grease zerks. There's the fixed wheels, the rear wheels. And, you know, here's the front ones. They got zerks too. Plus they have those nice holes. You know, I call them lightning holes. <laughs> but they're not really and uh, the casters are bolted on too of course I drilled and tapped all those I was gonna weld them on but it turns out welding the casters on wouldn't have worked out I don't know if you can see the uh, linkage but there it is it's all greased up and whatever here's the top I uh, I sprayed it a couple of coats that's the reflection of a live oak it overhangs it. I sprayed the top, then I wet sanded it, then I buffed it out with rubbing compound and a power buffer. Increasingly finer. You can see the clouds. And here's the, this is what the top looks like. And the front, of course. There's that little loop I put in there for the, uh, I put that for pulling it up onto a rollback wrecker in case I ever needed to. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, it's fairly substantial. This is a piece of one by two. That's one by two solid. And, uh, that's a five-eighths bolt, right? Let's see, there, that's a five-eighths bolt that goes through. And the pivot bolt under there, where you, maybe you can see it, it's a, it's also a five-eighths. There's the top of it. I don't know if that'll focus. There's the top of the pivot bolt. They were a little long, so I had to make some spacers. There's the original decal and whatever. Yeah, the faceplate needs a little bit of attention here and there. Some of the some of the numbers are getting a little thin. And uh, but there's the uh, pointer that I made for the knob. It's even got a bevel on it, believe it or not. Yeah, old Dave goes nuts, you know. She's a Dialark, $175, Dialark HF, you know, she's a good one, yeah, okay. Okay, this is the Ackerman steering casters from a slightly different angle, maybe it'll work out better, I'm having to guess where the uh, camera should be positioned, because I can't see it, because I have it leaning against something, so, uh, you know, this is how they steer with the linkage bars and whatever. You know, like that. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty substantial, you know. This is how it basically works. Ackerman steering and whatever. Handle goes up and down. You know, it's got full glamour, not just partial glamour. And, uh, I built it for the duration. <laughs> it'll easily outlast me. And, uh, I think it'll easily carry my drill press, too. Uh, seeing as the cart. <laughs> I weighed the component parts. The parts alone weigh over 200 pounds, excluding the rods and the bolts and a couple of other things. So I guess the cart weighs 250 pounds, plus the dial arc, that's another 500. So, you know, that's how it steers and whatever. It's your steering linkage and whatever. Oh, okay. All right. Here's another view of the steering showing how it does the Ackerman bit. 
hopefully. I'm having to guess at the angle of the camera because I can't see the deal, but I hope it's correct. This is how they work. You know, it's Ackerman steering. I call it semi-Ackerman. This pivots up and down, of course, and goes all the way to the ground. Parks wherever you want it because of friction, and uh, that's intentional. And it'll go all the way down. I can. That's also intentional. And uh, yeah, Ackerman steering casters. I don't know if you can see the linkage bars. Major task. Went to about three iterations on the linkage bars alone, and uh, <laughs> I can't. I got. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much time I actually have in this buggy. It's unbelievable. It's uh, it's quite a quite a few working hours. Yeah, yeah. It's Ackerman. I have a limited space in the garage. We need to put two cars in there. It's only a two-car garage plus all my shop equipment. So that's why everything has to be in as small a space as possible and do as much as possible. Okay. So uh, I'll see you in a little while. All right. Ackerman steering from another view, you know, maybe you can see the linkage bars better. I'm having a SIG. There it is, you know, it's Ackerman, sort of. Can't really see the linkage bars probably. But, you know, I can zoom you in and show you the linkage bars up close and personal. Let's move the light in there a little more for you. And, uh, manually tote the camera. There they are. I hope you can see them. They're in there. <laughs> take my take my word for it. Yeah, there they are. Linkage bars, you know. It's a glamour thing. You know, there's one. There's the other. And uh, it's Ackerman steering in a sort of a fashion. Okay. Okay, this is purely experimental here. An extreme close-up of your steering linkage while it's steering. And we'll see if that works. You don't know if it will or not. This is how it works. If you can see the linkage bars. Of course, I don't know if you can or you can't. Nobody can tell. But, you know, it's Ackerman steering in a sort of a fashion. You know, there they are, the linkage bars. Quite a bit of work. Maybe you can see the uh, spring stops under there. I'm not real sure on that. Maybe we'll have to reposition things. Okay, so you know, let's reposition the camera slightly. Maybe we'll put it here like this. And uh, let's see where the spring stops are. There they are. Yeah, there you, that goes there. This is a, you're looking straight up from the bottom now. Now, I hope you can see them. I don't know if you can or you can't. But those are the spring stops. Those are custom made, of course. You know, it's all custom. It's full custom. You know, and, uh, you know, it works. It basically does the deal. Okay. Ackerman steering. Miller dial arc. Okay. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, this is going to be the linkage bars in action, maybe. You know, I don't know. Here's how they look when they're doing the steering deal. You know. It's your, it's your Miller dial arc with Ackerman steering. Everybody's got one of these. Yeah, I came by it the hard way. I had to make the thing. You know, this is how it works. It steers, you know, through the handle. And uh, I didn't want those other kind of, uh, I didn't want those other kind of uh, wagon steering deals. I wanted this. Okay. There it is. Okay, this should be a close-up of one of the linkage bars steering one of the casters. Unless I crush the camera, which is always possible too, you know. But, that's how it works, you know. Ackerman steering. Alrighty. So, yeah. Quite a bit of work. Oh well, you know, that's how it goes in the big city. Okay, here we go. That's a wrap.